Okay, so problem number 3. Determine the deflection at point C of the beam shown in the figure. Okay, of the beam. Okay, so E is equals to 200 gigapascal and I is equals to 10. Okay, times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Okay, so meron tayong ano, applied moment sa A na 8 kilonewton meter. Okay. So, kung natin yung reaction. So, dapat alam natin reaction dito. Okay. Anyway, nagkamali ako na reaction to sa last uh, example number 2 yata yun. Sa ano, double integration. Hindi ko alam kung paano nangyari. Anyway, uh, reaction natin dito is 1.33 kN. Then, this is 1.33 kN. Pero ito, upward para i-resist nyo yung moment na to. Okay. Then, ito naman, downward para i-resist nyo yung 1.33 na upward. Okay? Then, mag-moment na tayo. So, saan mas maganda mag-moment dito? Okay, sa tingin ninyo, saan? So, mas maganda sa point A. Okay? Kasi, kapag nag-moment tayo dito sa C, ang dami mag-moment dyan. Yung 1.33, itong 1.33, then 8 kilo nyo doon. Tatlong ano, area yun. Mahirap. Kapag nag-moment ka sa B, dalawa. 1 and 2. So, pwede na. Pero mas maganda pa rin saan? Sa point A. Kasi, an ilan ang mag-moment sa point A? Yung 1.33 lang. Okay, at least isa lang siya. Tama ba? So, i-drawing natin. So, ito yung ating moment at point A. So, pataas siya. Tama ba? Papunta rito. So, 1.33 multiplied by 9. So, that is 7.98. Then, ano ulit? First degree. Kasi ano to? Uh, point load. Okay. So, this is 7.98 kilonewton meter. Okay? So, moment diagram pa lang tayo. Okay? So, drawing na rin natin yung kanyang Okay, drawing na rin natin yung kanyang uh, elastic curve. Okay. So, ang elastic curve niya is ito. Ayan. Then, ano ba yung pinapahanap? Deflection at C. Okay? So, this is point A. This is point B. And this is point C. Okay? So, drawing natin yung uh, slope natin. Okay? Ah, sorry. Slope. Uh, tangent. Okay? Yeah, teka lang. Una muna natin ito. Ito yung horizontal kasi. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ito yung pinapahanap. Ayan. So, this is what? Uh, deflection at C. Okay? So, ayan. So, ayan. <laughs> okay? Hmm. Okay. So, ano tayo kung deflection kasi, ibig sabihin, ano tayo, deviation. Tama ba? So, puro deviation tayo. So, ito nyan. Kung kukunin natin to, ito yung ating tangent at B. Tama ba? So, ito yung ating tangent at B. Ibig sabihin, itong point na to, or sorry, itong division na to, ito, ito yung ating division at point C with respect to B. Sorry, a division at point C with respect to tangent B. Tama ba? So, makukuha natin yung YC kapag meron tayong ano, division from point C with respect to tangent B. Tapos, makukuha natin to. Tama ba? Kapag nakuha natin to, okay na tayo. Kasi itong length na to, or itong division na to, minus yung itong TCB, makukuha natin yung YC. Okay? So, paano natin makukuha to? By ratio proportion ng triangle. Ito. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin kunin itong division na to. Ito. At point A with respect to tangent B. Ayan. So, ito ngayon yung ating deviation at point A, okay, with respect to tangent B. Kapag nakuha na natin to, then mag-ratio proportion na lang tayo. This is what? 6, uh, tama ba? Then ito, 3 meters. So, makuha natin yan. Okay, so sabihin natin, ito, yan. Sabihin natin, ano na lang to? Um, okay, T. 
Yan. Nalangaw na naman. <laughs> uh, yan. Okay. So, kunin natin isa-isa. Dito muna sa, ano, uh, vertical division at point A with respect to tangent B is equal to the integral of x bar multiplied by m over ei multiplied by dx. Okay? So, sa tayo, ano, sa yung point na panggagalingan nating division sa point A, ibig sabihin from point A to point B. Ibig sabihin, yung ating x bar is dapat with respect to A. Okay? So, from point A to B, so, buong triangle na to, tama ba? So, ibig sabihin, tanggal natin to. Okay? This is 1.33 kN. So, T, okay, at point A with respect to B is equal to X bar. Okay? With respect to point A, di ba? So, ito yung kanya X bar. Ito. So, kunin na kagad natin. One third of what? One third of six. Tama ba? So, one third of six. So, that is two meters. So, two meters. So, positive siya. Okay? So, two meters multiplied by area. Ang area natin is one half of 7.98 multiplied by okay multiplied by 6 okay multiplied by 1 over ei so this is what okay this is okay 47.88 so 47.88 over ei so yan na muna wag na, na muna tayo sa tuchu yung e over i okay next Kunin naman natin itong uh, T. Okay? So, T over, this is what? 3 meters is equals to TAB, that is 47.88 over EI. Ah, sorry. Over what? 6 meters. Okay? So, 6. Ibig sabihin, yung ating T is equals to what? 23. Okay? So, 23.94 over EI. Okay? So, saan 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 nang galing EI ito? So, 47.88 over EI. Di ko lang siya sinulat dito. Okay? So, saan na tayo? Ito, TCB. Meron tayong T eh. So, ito naman. Division or vertical division from point C with respect to tangent at B. So, that is okay? That is integral of X bar multiplied by M over EI TX. So, sa tayo mag-start, kasi from point C eh. So, from point C to point B. Ito. So, kunin natin ito. Yung point na ito. Ayan. So, sabi natin yung ano, A. So, by ratio proportion, A over what? A over 3 meters is equal to 7.98 over 6. Therefore, ang ating A is equal to Okay, 3.99. Okay. So, yung ano pa, X bar. Kasi with respect to ano eh, with respect to point C dapat to. Tama ba? Kasi doon tayo mag-i-start. Ayan. Or doon kasi yung point na, pang, na pagkukuna natin ng ating vertical division. So, dapat with respect to C. So, ito yun. Okay. So, that is what? One third of three meters. So, that is one meter. So, this is ang ating division of point C with respect to tangent B is equals to 1 meter multiplied by area. Ang area natin is ano, triangle. So, 1 half of A. Ang A natin is 3.99. Okay. Okay. Then, ang ating uh, base is 3 meters okay. multiplied by 1 over EI. So, Ang ating uh, vertical division of point C with respect to tangent at B is equals to, okay, 5.985. So, 5.985 over EI. Therefore, yung ating deflection at C is equals to T. Ang T natin is 23.94. Ang ating uh, deviation na to, okay, is equals to 5.95. 985 over EI. So, ano ba ito? Um, kilo Newton. Okay. So, kilo Newton kasi siya eh. Okay. Kilo Newton meter cube. So, 
1000 raised to 4. Okay? Then ito, kunin na agad natin. 200 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 10 times 10 raised to 6. Okay? So, ang ating deflection at C is equals to positive 8.978 millimeters. Ayan. So, ito yung kanyang deflection. O, ba Medyo komplikado siyang isipin kasi ang kinukuha natin is puro vertical division pa lang. Hindi pa siya yung mismong uh, deflection natin. Pero ito at least, uh, na example ko sa inyo kung paano kumuha ng deflection gamit yung mga vertical deviation. Okay? So, ito yung ating problem number 3 for moment area theorems. Okay?